how to add or edit text to checkout page in Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can edit or add some text or also modify a text within the checkout page in Shopify. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit Shopify.com then you are going to sign it into your account. Once you have finished this step, you are going to visit the products. Make sure that you have set some products so you are going to make the store full about the product. And then also don't forget to go to the settings and set your payment getaways or your payment method because the checkout will not appear if you haven't set the payment methods. Now, after you have set everything right there, we're going to visit the online store. But once we have visited the online store, I am going to view my store and open up a window uh, for the store or the actual store. And we are going to visit the checkout page. Click on the checkout, add an item. And here we have the checkout page as it is. As you can see, everything is in order and we have everything. Now, we're going back to the theme and we are going to select the current theme that we are going to work on. The second step or the next step is to click on the three dots. Now we have some options in this drop down menu. We're going to select the edit default theme content. And right there we have some items and some options. We have the filters. We have here the items such as general newsletters. We have accessibility, blogs, onboarding, etc. So now we are going to click on the three dots. And as you can see, we have three more items. Checkout and system, accounts, and accounts on the classic mode. We're going to select the checkout and system. Now we are going to see whatever we have. As you can read, we have the sentences. We have some address or checkout address management the checkout general and a lot of things. Each of these compartment or these text fields has a word checked or made standard. For example, for the page title, it is named checkout. When you go ahead right there, you are going to set and see the page name. It is named checkout. Let's go ahead and change it to check out L or for example test I'm going to name it as test and see if the name will be changed click on save and now we are going to wait for a few seconds here we have the checkout page I'm going to refresh it here we have some refresh we are going to see and as you can see for the window it is named checkout test if I want to let it as it was I'm going to delete that test part, click on save, and we are going to see that the page name is also customizable. Go ahead and refresh it for a few times, and you will see that everything will be undone until we have set it. Now, we are going to see or explore the checkout page. We have the contact, the delivery, the shipping method, and etc. Now, if I want to add something to the shipping method, all I have to do is to go back to the uh, theme content and then we're going to search on the filter items. Right there, copy and paste the word or the phrase that you want to modify, paste it right here and see whatever you have. Now, check out general, we have choose a shipping method. Here we have the choose a shipping method. It is not our case. Here we have invalid checkout update shipping method, checkout shipping method. This is the title and so on. We have here, I'm going to copy and paste. Then I'm going to set a parenthesis. Now I'm going to add to that parenthesis. I'm going to say something want a free shipping 
like that. I'm going to set a question. I'm going to separate this uh, by items. Your total, I'm going to set your total should be at least $100, for example. I'm going to close the parenthesis and click on save. Now, this is the first thing that we have made. Now, we are going to go back to that page, wait for a few seconds, and then we are going to refresh it. Right there, we are going to see, and here we have the shipping method, the parenthesis, one day free shipping, your total should be at least $100. Now that was for the shipping. Let's go ahead and change something on the payment. For example, I'm going to search right here, payment, payment, right here. Make sure that it is the same word. And now we are going to seek for something else. Here we have all transactions are secured and encrypted. Now let's go ahead and see the title. If we have the title, we have the Authenticate, purchase button label. We have continued payment, choose a payment method. Right there, we are going to see manual. Keep searching for that specific area that you are going to change. And obviously you will find it. If you don't find it right here, you can set or click on control F or command F if you are on Mac and simply Go ahead and type payment. Copy and paste that like that and you will see. Here we have a lot and a lot of uh, payment. As you can see, I'm going to set here title and see nothing is set. So we are going to filter it within the payment right here. Title. Now nothing is found. It is okay, so we are going to set or add a description on the shipping method. Copy that. It is available and it, nothing is not available within that page, so you have to take your time and uh, check it on yourself. Now, we have the title. No it's here, different, different. Everything is set, check out payment. Now set whatever you want. Here we have the shipping method title. We're going to see here the shipping method title. It is set and everything is okay. Now this is how you can go ahead and customize whatever you want. If you want, for example, the pay now button, we're going to search for pay now. Go ahead and set pay now and see if it will appear now is like that simply go ahead and see here the pay now button label is set like that so we are going to set something like that not pay right like that right now i'm going to save this sentiment so we are going to see if this will affect the button itself refresh that page of the checkout and as you can see, we have it right there. Pay right now. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. And hope to see you soon on the next one.